and I'm follow the view at the camera so you don't get me below the chin. Sir, yeah, go ahead. Let me get your identification. Let me see who uh, Am I detained? No, I, I asked for your identification. Oh, I don't need to provide identification. Okay, I'd like to know who Right? Knows. And I have the right to respectfully refuse okay. that. You do? Yeah, I mean, do you want to call your sergeant back down here? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm just waiting to ask him a question. Please. Okay. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? You have you guys, back? sorry, have you guys canceled uh, visits? Step back, step back, step back, step back. Step back. Oh. Sorry, I just want to... Yeah, if, if, he, he's not detained, right? All right, well, so he's free to go? He started telling me to go over there. Well, no, so, so he's free to go, officer? If he's free to go, he's free to... Stay. What's going on, guys? Josh of the Accountability for All, here with um, Extra Good Citizen and No Name Audits. And we're at the Harris County Jail. I'm whispering because there's a sheriff's deputy right in front of me, and I don't want to get blown. to listen to that all day? Uh, you guys have to listen to that horn all day? Yeah, it's back Let's blow your eardrums out. So that's just for like train, like uh, cargo trains and stuff, not like no, that's commuter rail. That's really Pacific land, so. Oh, okay. So different from where I'm from. This place went crazy. It's up there. You have two main yards. You have one here, you have one back here. Okay. They gotta, they gotta move every night. They been on that track, Yep. You have to have the coolest name I've, I've seen. W. Smith? Right. But you're... Are you you look younger than him, though, so he must have been named Will, uh, W. Smith before you. Uh, Will? Yeah, I think he's he's My older than you. Not, not, not Will. I like your name better. So is this, is this open right now? It is. All right, so I'm just... Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, you guys are really nice. Thank you. We're not going to be filming any of the people in there, just everything else. Thanks, man. Okay. Thank you. So they're pretty nice here. Yeah, so far they're pretty nice. Oh, do we have to take temperature checks coming in here? We have to consent to temperature checks? Yeah, you have to if you want to come in. Oh. I'm not touching you. What's your sense then? Am I good? Am I clear? Awesome. Thank you. How you doing, sir? Good. Was that huh? Why are you filming? We don't have to answer that question, but Officer Smith said we were good to come in here. Thanks, though. Who? What? Officer Sorry. Smith? I'm sorry. We're good, man. Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a public. We're not here to film you. Like, we're just filming, like, the building. But you don't need consent to film in public. It's okay though. You need to stop. You need to step out. I need to step out? Is this is this private I'm confused. Is this private property? You need to go and check the memo. Yeah. So I was in here once. You guys did this to me and I came back. The next day, after a letter from the uh, public information officer came out, you go yeah, the sheriff's the department responded. Let's step into the best of you. I'll get my supervisor. Thank you. Then you then better get your supervisor. No, go ahead. Okay, then let's step into yeah. the best. You better get your supervisor. You better relieve. I can, I can pull up the memo if you want me to. Yeah, there. So okay. before, before we don't know really. So come on. Come well, on. this is a public building, right? Okay, come on. All right. So I mean, we're good to film. I'd rather just wait here for a supervisor because it's an open area. I'm not in an enclosed space. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait right here until he comes. Get your supervisor. Okay. Like you said, we can come in here and film, man. I mean, we're allowed to, anyways, but. Yeah. I mean, I really want to make sure. 
Yeah, they did release um, a memo in response to us coming the last time. But they don't, they, they, they it's not my business. It's not my bill. Let me pull up the email for you. It's, it's, it's Harris County Sheriff's Department. Oh, yeah, we can pull up the email. That's great. Pull up the email for them. Actually, I can play a video of the, the email. Uh, I am. Yeah, if, if, he he's not detained, right? All right, well, so he's free to go. He well, not so, so he's free to go, officer. If he's free to go, he's free to stay. He can stay right there, man. I appreciate that. No, man. I mean, you're not detained, so you don't have to take any directives, anyways. I mean, it's a public building. So this is not privately owned or contracted. So it's a public easement. It's the people's building. We can be in here filming. I mean, even if we didn't have an email or a memo from your public relations department, which we do, but it's a constitutionally protected activity. Like the same thing that allows us, sir, to conduct a peaceful protest outside that allows us to practice whatever religion we want in this building, allows us to be in here filming. Now, we're not here for any of these folks, which is why they're not on a film. Uh, and this is what we're trying to do, bring awareness so people know that, that this is a, a protected activity. Now, you're a deputy. You swore an oath to the Constitution, right, sir? All right, man. So this is the perfect opportunity. What we're doing is nothing wrong. you got to defend that oath. I mean, you see this tattoo? I'm still filming. I'm not going to stop. Me and stop We the people? We the people? You know what I mean? We the people can do this. We're obviously not in here causing a scene. So. Are you the supervisor, sir? No, sir. All right. Sergeant? Are you Sergeant? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, man. Um, so we just came in here. Uh, we asked to come in first. They said we could anyways. But um, So we're just in here taking a look at um, the building, uh, you know, some of the signs on the wall, stuff like that. Um, we, were, we have a response and an email from uh, jail administration saying that we're allowed to do this. Right. Um, and secondly, it's a public building. We can right, film right. in here. So, so that's all we're doing. I don't know. They Ask told us that we had to leave. They He got pretty like aggressive. I'm not sure. Maybe he's not aware. Right. So I appreciate yeah, you coming out. Yeah, he doesn't out. work in this building. He's just... Yeah, man. Sit. I mean, that's... Yeah, I can go ahead and knock thanks, yourselves man. off. Appreciate it. That's what, this is what we're trying just, to do. Just don't go behind the desk because there's oh, no, 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 no. confidential information Absolutely. on the computer and stuff. Yeah, and we don't, plan, don't, on, we don't plan on filming any of the people coming in here or going up to the window to get their information. We're just... How a day was, what a job was. And yeah. 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 You know, she works at City Houston. This is just what we're doing. All right, man. I really appreciate it. Behind that desk, right? Y'all can't film like behind that desk, right? right. Understood. No unauthorized yeah. access areas. You got that, right? Cool. All right. All right. I appreciate it, sir. No Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you, Chef. All right, perfect. That's awesome, man. Sergeant, have you guys, um, like I know a lot of states are doing it just because of the coronavirus. Um, for cases that are like misdemeanors, ticketable offenses, are you starting to like um, prosecute those as summonses? Have you changed your operations in the jail as far as letting people out early because of the virus? Yeah, well, we don't change anything unless we get uh, proper do documentation from the court. Right, okay. Allowing us to release people and then we'll release them. No, is the court suspended or court restricted at this point? Yeah, we have to contact the district attorney's office for all that information. Okay, yeah, we, we were checking in and a lot of places are like releasing people and courts are put off like 60 days, so we just like asking like, you know, because you guys are under stress too, like when you have this situation, it's abnormal, you kind of have to figure out how to deal with it. Right. So we're just asking if you've had to deal with that yet. Yeah, I mean, we deal on a day-to-day -day basis. Were you in the military? No. No, you, you kind of have that that down to earth. And most of the military guys I meet, yeah. they're kind of a little bit more yeah. relaxed. Yeah, no and that's all we're doing. We're not trying to give Officer Ben a hard time. We just like to bring public awareness to what we can and we can't do. So we appreciate you calling your supervisor and you stuck to your guns. You did what you thought was right and you're defending the people. So it's important that, that you're brave and you stick to that. And now that he's let you know that what we can do is, is allowed... You know, sometimes people in this situation will, like, freak out and be really upset. You're really nice about it. So we appreciate you, you know, doing your job, man. Thank you so much.
You too, man. So, we're not in here causing any problems. How's it going, sir? I get you. No, you, you, uh, you guys uh, did a fairly okay job compared to... They, they, there was three guys that physically threw me out last night. Really? Okay. So, and then I had to... That letter that I... That video that I showed you mm -hmm. basically um, stated that... They sent out a memo to everybody mm -hmm. saying it was completely okay for us to film in any in any of these public buildings, okay. um, and also to uh, record any encounter with uh, yeah. law enforcement. This is protected activity by the First Amendment. Okay. Wow. Well, um, last time, just... the first time I came in here, uh -huh. they, there were four people that went hands on with me, really? physically picked me up and threw me out in the street, oh, and that's why we're coming back today. Uh -huh. Just to test you guys. I came back a couple days afterwards, right. but this time I wanted to come back a couple months after to make sure that the lesson was still right. um, was still around. Well, we don't have knowledge of that because we weren't here in right. that process. But, but you know what? I thank you. I thank you for at least taking the time to review right. the memo and the, and no. the law, and uh -huh. uh, you didn't go throw me out hands on. And right. you guys have a great evening. All right, mm. you stay safe. Okay. Right. I'll take care. Take care. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. The First Amendment is alive and well, sir. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. You too. You as well. Yes, sir. All right, so that was an ex. That, that was an excellent exit strategy there because you like that guy and and I I kind of got him a little aggravated because like hey I really appreciate it man because most guys when they realize they did the wrong thing and their boss yells at them they freak out but you're just sitting there and taking it so I appreciate that. You get really sarcastic with me instead of saying well you're still guys, filming. I started playing the game yeah. last time like, what I did. Last time what I did is I went right over here. It was two days later. Then I went right over there and I read the email out loud on my stream. Yeah. Then I walked <laughs> John has this way of dealing with these guys. It makes them so enraged because he's so nice and he's always smarter than them. I wonder what these sheriff's deputies are doing. Which way are we going, John? Oh, the ultimate test. So let's uh, let's let you go. Share, like, and subscribe. No, no, no. Stay, stay, I'm gonna go right back up. That's the reason I stopped you today. Stay extra. Deputy Ben. What are you doing on your phone, man? You gotta put your phone away, man. There's no cameras out here in public. Come on, Deputy Ben. <laughs> She's laughing. Deputy Ben, what are you doing? I caught him, guys. I caught him. I caught him. Deputy Ben, what are you doing on your phone? I do not want wish to be filmed. That's, that, okay. I guess that kind of stinks. All right, this, I got it. This is my fourth time doing my temp. Yeah. You're good. Thank you. So, but we just learned this valuable lesson. Why are you telling me now that I can't film you? And you're still filming. I am still filming you because it's my constitutionally protected activity. Okay. All right? I think it's more important that I caught you on your cell phone. Now, I'm not going to, like, put you in time out or anything today. It's just not a, a kid's guy. You have eight kids? Well, good for you. No, I didn't say eight, oh. eight kids. I say it's not a kid. Oh. All right. Yeah. Well, your nursing stuff. Oh, that's a cam back. Yeah, yeah, you want to hold it a little bit higher no, and I'm, follow the view at the camera okay, so you don't get me below this, the chin. Sir, yeah, let go me ahead. Get your identification. Let me see who uh, you Am are. I detained? No, I, I asked for your identification. Oh, I don't need to provide identification. Okay, I'd like to know who right? you are. I have the right to respectfully refuse okay. that. You do? Yeah, I mean, do you want to call your sergeant back down here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. He's doing a cam back. Oh, he's doing a cam back. That's great. He just failed again. Now he's doing a cam back and telling me I need to ID, so I must be detained. Hey, make, no, I'm not going past this point. Do not delete your temperature. No, we got to teach you another look. No, she's really nice. Let her take your temperature. How you doing, sir? So. We need an open records request of his name and back. Yeah, why did he do that? See, you know why he did it? Because I caught him on his phone. And she was really nice. She just kind of like laughed a little bit. Like, it's no big deal. And now he's saying I have to provide identification. Am I detained? Identification for what? I believe in not. We just went through this today. We just did this. Oh, we need, we need, yeah, we need to speak to the sergeant again. This is really unfortunate. What's, what's going on, man? We were just walking by, and I saw Deputy Ben, and I waved to him, mm -hmm. and he just put his head down. I came in, and I was like, hey, man. I was like, you didn't even see me waving to you. You're on your phone. Okay. And then he's like, oh, you don't have permission to film me. I need some identification. 
It's like, am I detained? You can't ID me right now. In the state of first of all, it's a no ID state, and you don't have the right to ask my identity unless I'm lawfully arrested for a crime. Like, so we asked to speak to his sergeant again because we, we just went through that. That's kind of crazy. I mean, your nursing staff here, though, is awesome. I will say that. <laughs> He just acted really nice, like everything was cool, we left. And then when his supervisor's gone, he turns up and all of a sudden he wants to detain me. Yeah, he actually detained you? No, I said, I was like, he was like, you need to give me identification. I said, am I detained? I know state, Texas state law, unless I'm actually arrested. Did I don't have know, to provide ID. No, I didn't have time. He's like, no, you need to give me identification. I was like, am I detained? And then he takes out his, I was trying to tell him that he was probably getting me from the neck down. You have to hold your camera a little higher and zoom out to get a really good view. Well, I'm happy to help him start his own YouTube channel today, but that's a, that's a service that I don't know if I'm going to provide unless he provides me his identification for being in a public place. Can, can I ask you a question? Do you think that's the wrong thing to do? To, to, when I, after we just went through all this and we left on great terms to come in and have him demand ID from me? I don't, I don't know what he did, actually. Did he, where did he go? Did he go back I asked him to get the sergeant, yeah. I just said, hey, man, I want to say goodbye, but you didn't see me. I was on the phone. He's like, well, I don't give you permission to film me. I was like, oh, man, come on. We already went through this. And he's like, well, now you have to give me your ID. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure only if I'm under arrest do I have to provide my ID. And there's no probable cause for him to even try and ascertain my identity. It's just really unfortunate. Like, do, would, would you have asked for my ID? Not, not after we went through what we... Right. Would, would you like to see the video so I could show you? Maybe I'm missing something that you could pick up on as a law enforcement officer? Let me see. Yeah. We're allowed to have our phones in here, so... Right. So why do you think he asked me? Do you think he was wrong to ask me to ID? I don't know. I'm not sure. Actually, I, like I told you before, that we don't work in this area. And so it's just, you know, it's a learning curve. Right. right. We're trying, right. So we're trying to learn true. what... What the procedures or policies are in reference to what we're doing. That's that's the court okay. right there, basically. That's that's uh, the city. Oh, is this the sergeant? Thank you. About to see if I can go find a sauce for you. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I'm about to go up there see if they can make a page for a super class. Okay. What what did Sergeant Hernandez do? He left. He's uh call you yeah, to get your supervisor. Oh, okay. I need to get a phone because he said like a, this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a supervisor. Um, the gentleman who is recording you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get a open records request for all text message phones, uh, phone logs, and uh, images taken on his phone for the last two weeks. No, which is your right to no, do. And right. even if if that was his personal, most people are gonna say, but. Well, extra good citizen. What if that's his personal phone? It doesn't matter. He's using it as his, in his official capacity. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just see exactly what his plans are with our images. I hope he doesn't we'll have any nudes sure. on there. Right. No, we'll, uh, we'll know soon. We'll know, we'll know very soon. And if he deletes any of that footage... Right, that would be destruction of evidence. Because I've already made a request for it at this yeah. point. So. Right. We'll see how it well, goes. She might cam back, too. They, all, they like to cam back. Okay. Yeah, he's now he's now he's clearing his internet search history. <laughs> now he's definitely back there to clearing his browser history. <laughs> the, the wife does not want to find the places I've been going. By the way, I, just so guys, I have no proof. I'm making a joke. I have no proof that he's visiting any inappropriate places. I'm just being silly. Oh, that's our page. Hey, Sergeant. Sorry we had to stop by again. I just saw um, Officer Ben on his phone. So I, I just I came in. I said, hey, man, why are you on your phone? And at that point, he, uh, he said that he didn't give us permission to film him. Uh, and he, had, he demanded identification. So, I mean, I wasn't arrested. So I don't have to provide identification. And there's definitely no articulable suspicion of a crime. So... I just wasn't understanding why he would even ask for ID. First of all, it was an unlawful request. And number two, I need a FOIA request form, a Freedom of Information Act, because he used his personal phone to take pictures of me in his official capacity. So I'd like to FOIA request all the pictures and everything on his phone during that time. And secondly, I'd, I'd like to ask why he demanded my identification and if he did the wrong thing by demanding my ID. Okay.
Um, any questions that you have, I mean, I'll be more than happy to refer you to our media uh, guy, and he can answer whatever questions you have. Can you just make sure that everything's preserved on that phone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 We're gonna need the last two weeks. All call logs, all. Uh, okay, well you can talk to all the, uh, text messages, all browsing history. We're gonna need the last two weeks now because we, we have a suspicion that he may have been taking pictures of other um, innocent citizens. So we just wanna just verify, just check, trust well, but verify. Again. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So trust all that is legal verify. stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure you. You can get your attorney or whoever you want involved, or but the only thing I can give you is. Do you sure. have an open records request? Huh? Do you have an open records request? That's all we need. We'll be on I don't. I don't have it. Can we go online and get it? Can we get his name and badge number at least? Yeah. So we have it for the. Yeah. I mean, his name's right there. What's your badge number? Fourteen sixty one. Okay. Right. So we have enough information. Just don't delete anything from that phone because at this point it's uh, public information. One thing I'm not sure about because I'm not from this area. In the state of Texas, does one Where have? Are you from? To, I'm from New England. New England. Yeah, I'm far like, away from home. Like Delaware, or, or like New England, London. Like, like new, no, like New England, United States. Okay. Just tell them so. That's fair. Boston. So what are you doing here? I'm from okay, Boston. Boston. Yeah, we do civil rights work. I got, I got a YouTube channel. Okay. How long, how long have you been in Texas? I don't answer questions. Huh? I don't. I, I don't answer questions. I'm answering your questions. I well, that here's how long the thing. Have you been in Texas? That's because you work for me. I you just work want to know for the, you like Texas. You know who? You, you know what I do like? What do you like? I think that the food here is better than I see. I thought I had barbecue before I came here, <laughs> and then I had barbecue, and my right. stomach disagreed, right. and I just wasn't up to. I wasn't up to it. So you don't like our barbecue? No, oh, I think it's phenomenal. That's oh. the problem. All right. Are you kidding so you me? Real we found Bucky's, Jack in the Box, and oh, Whataburger. Right. There's no reason for me to leave. Right. I'll be that's, here for a while. That's not barbecue. You no, we had barbecue. At, where should we go? So. I found that he's great at deflecting. He must be in PR. I, I found I'm that sucked the best in. You got barbecue me. Barbecue is in uh, it's a place called Colleen's. Uh, uh, it's in Pearland. That's the best barbecue right there. So if you want some good barbecue, drive up there and get some. All right, we'll do it. One last question, then yeah. we'll, we'll let you be because you're really nice. Um, in Texas, mm -hmm. does someone have to ID if they're not under arrest? Uh, well, I can I cannot answer that question because I cannot I, I don't know what the it's 3802, so unless somebody I don't know exactly why the officer, what his mindset of thinking is. The only thing I can tell you is that if the officer believes that or has reasonable suspicion to believe that you are committing a crime or about to commit a crime, he can definitely ask you for identification and detain you until he determines if a crime has well, been Well, 3802 states that in Texas, I don't have to provide ID until I'm lawfully under arrest. Right. Well, again, I don't know what the mindset is or the exigent circumstances that led to that point. But the only I think thing he I got tell... caught in his phone. There was... Well, again... The only thing I can tell you is catch him on their phone. Yes. She's awesome, by the way. Well, I'm sure she is. She's awesome. She well, deserves a gift card to Bucky's, Whataburger, and all the above. Well, maybe you can buy her one and bring it to her. I don't think she's allowed to, allowed to receive them because she's in her official capacity, but I will do this because we were going to bond out anyone whose bail was lower than 50 bucks. Um, but if, she will, if you will allow her on behalf of we the people to accept a gift card, then we'll give her one. Authorize that because I don't know what her. How about you? Can I can I can I give you a gift no, card? You cannot give me a gift card. Okay. Um, I've been looking on it. Like a get out of jail free actually, burger. Where do I actually go on the internet to find out what people bail numbers, people's bail amounts are? Oh, that's. All right. I'm not really sure. I'm sure you know. So that's that's all we're doing. This is great. So now we can FOIA the footage. Uh, accountability. Mine's accountability for all, and he's extra good citizen. I'm local. He's from up there. Oh, oh, you know. Hey, Sarge, how are you? How are you guys doing out there? He, we're doing well. He is like your PR number one guy. He is. This guy is such a people person. He's like going to be wearing stars pretty soon. Like, I can't even, even if he was like tasing me in like a back alley, I'd be like, but he's still a good guy. Like, he's really nice. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. All uh, right, hey, guys, thank you so much. Do, do you want a gift card? We're going to bring one in. I will get quarantined just to bring you back a gift card. And you can't ask people for ID unless they're arrested. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I got to get out of here. Oh, do you have your... Can you, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Can you, just, can you check how many subscribers I have real quick? It's accountability for all. Can you just look at your phone? Will you? Okay, so but can you just check it now real quick so I know how many subscribers I have? Because I can't. What if I go over here? I'm, you're off camera. I'm just gonna take a walk. I'll come back. It's it's. If you write AC, 
like accountability, ACC, I come up before accounting. Uh, can I go for a walk and come back? You can tell me. Please. <laughs> Just come back later, not to worry. Okay. All right. All right. Last time I checked, I think I had like almost 40,000. I think. They won't, they, if you sell me public information at the window over there, court records isn't the public information and I can't get it. What do you mean? Like a docket, like somebody's arrested. Like, I can't get the public. They might not do it at a city, of, uh, at the municipal court system because that's for processing because they have to stay open for the inmates. It might be records division. Let's we'll figure right? this out. Yeah. I'm going to figure this out. We'll figure it out. Thank All right. You, you too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll bail out anyone who has a bail in less than $50, so... There's a video on there. We'll find out. And that's the reason we stopped you today.